Hey, what's going on? I haven't done one of these in a while. This is going to be a countdown ascending of the most expensive punk, metal, and rock albums I have right now. So this is just going in order, you know, lowest to highest. And I didn't differentiate uh, between genres. So I, this is just the 20 most expensive I have. I buy collections all the time. I'm always getting new stuff. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to, for a reference, use Discogs Median because something most people seem to agree on, even though you really shouldn't. A couple reasons, like if you're trying to buy something on Discogs, say it's just a $20 album, just try to buy it for $20 at the median price. It's, it's almost impossible, especially if you're in the U.S. because all the other sellers, or a great number of them, are outside of the U.S., and then also with the Discogs medium, it gets skewed. For example, I recently had a Metallica a white label, had the cool hype sticker on it. And there was, I was you know, researching the price and uh, this is how I screwed myself by, by doing just what I'm talking about right now. So I'm looking at it. There's none on eBay. There's none on uh, Discogs. So I just kind of glanced at the... Uh, at the median value and it said two hundred dollars so i was like okay that seems right for a, a master of puppets but if i'd even done one more click and click down into the listing as i'm showing you right now on discogs you would have seen that that was being skewed greatly by a bunch of like g plus and crap copies and i had a copy in vg plus condition and you know, I could have gotten a lot more for it. I sold it for 200 It sold in three seconds. And I actually had resellers hitting me up, asking me if I had more. That's how excited they were that I had messed up. So let's get into this list without further ado. So starting off at number 20, we have Nephilim Devil's Force. And this one is goes for 167 is the Discogs median. However, you will not find a copy of it anywhere for less than 300, or you won't find a copy of it on Discogs for less than $333, except you know, for this one that I have in my hand, it's less than that. So moving on, we have, this is, this is a reissue. It's not even an old reissue. This is Queens of Stone Age, their first album. This is the 2010 reissue on was it records records um so you know, th th this is in great condition and this one uh it says it goes for 167 which i found to be more or less right so this is one where discogs definitely had it and one thing i'll tell you is like ogs of this are, are thousands of dollars so and I think Queens of Stone Age just dropped some new stuff. So I would go out and buy a first pressing of it because if past performance is any indication, those things will be more valuable than Bitcoin. So moving on. This, this is an interesting one. This is Cheetah Chrome and the Motherfuckers. And this one is a, obviously a single and a seven inch. And this is a heavily bootlegged album this is not one of the bootlegs this is a real italian issue and cheetah chrome of course is the guitar player in the dead boys who i saw recently so at number 18 this is 400 fascist cheetah chrome and the motherfuckers and this one goes 222 to 250 300 which is more, more or less right so pretty cool some obscure punk moving on morbid angel blessed are the sick test pressing and this is their second album from what was it like 1993 uh one of their better one 1991 and th this is one of their better ones in my opinion and this is a, a production you know test press uh has all the notes and stuff uh, there are none available anywhere for this. Uh, the median was at 
190 uh, 200 my, my price I have this one at three just because it's how rare it is it's only one of these around classic morbid angel number 16 we have dissection the somber somber somberlian 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 however you say it uh this is the second album from dissection 1998 and this is the picture disc the you know, the normal version of it is worth much more than this and uh you know dude from dissection a uh, controversial guy uh did three classic death black metal kind of albums and and spent a great deal of his prime years before he died at like 31 or 32 in prison and this one is 169 uh is the discogs median however you won't find one of these for less than 300 so next this is christian and they're from brazil and this is a split with violent hate and i gotta take a second to just really appreciate this cover here so it's you know it's a split that's the christian side that's the violent hate this one goes all the way back to 1992 and it's on Di oh, 1993 this one's on dynamo records uh discogs has it for 100 you'll find some really crappy copies for around 200 this one's a little more super rare um legendary band in my opinion and they had they had the, this is when they had the uh, original guitar player who, who's dead now who's just an absolute shredder so next up this one is a uh, interesting one too this one is a single by watain you know obviously one of the bigger uh black metal bands out right now this came out in 1999 on and this is a Swedish import and it is also numbered to and this is a limited run of 300 or if this is 273 of 300 numbered Watain and in this one we have this one is uh, a 194 median value and you can't find any uh, except maybe this one in my hand for less than 370 so again like discog says median a lot but i mean try try finding it for that you know so it is what it is binomics so moving on to the next page at number 13 we have rudimentary penny death church and this one is 1983 this album for 1983 is is in great shape in my opinion it's solidly up around to vg plus um when i grade my vinyl i i rarely rarely call anything near mint just because i, I think it creates a uh, unrealist unrealistic expectations with the buyer so i just say vg plus to everything this one's solidly in that zone. And this one is a UK import. Uh, the, it has a 163 uh, median, which I, I believe is more or less right. So, moving on, we go to Amorphous. And this is the Clarion Isthmus, 1993, Nuclear Blast. And this is a kind of greenish uh, I don't know what the exact name they gave this but just green there's 3500 of these pressed um, and this is the original and so that one was at number 12 and that was amorphous the next up we got poison idea pick your king and this is a seven inch obviously it's an EP it has what's it got it's got like 14 songs on it so and this is in my opinion well first off it's blue vinyl and this is not the 
first pressing of this album. This is actually the second. This was limited to a thousand copies. And it's got, you know, uh, Jesus on the front, Elvis on the back. Pretty clever. And it, in, in my opinion, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, hardcore album ever put out. I mean, it's it's in the top ten, in my opinion. Um, very solid album. So, Poison Idea, Pick Your King, Second Press, Blue Vinyl on Fatal Erection Records. The medium price on this is 200 However, th there's none anywhere and have been for a long time for less than 400 Next up, I have another great one. And this is Sarcophago, I-N-R-I. This is the Brazilian Press 1987 on Calamengo Records. And uh, this one, it, it's a, not the, the cover isn't in the greatest condition. It's got a little bit of tape on the top. Um, these dudes are pretty, pretty awesome, if you ask me. Um, their music still stands up today. Uh, kind of the godfathers of, uh, played a big part in, in the grindcore movement and modern uh, death metal. They didn't put out that much after this. Um, and this is actually a compilation of stuff that was already, I guess, like floating around uh, demos, stuff in Brazil. Uh, it's actually a compilation. And uh, this is INRI by Sarcophago. And this one we got, uh, this is a 200 median, uh, which I think is more or less right for this one. Uh, you won't find one though on Discogs for less than 285. So next up we have 1992 Vader, the ultimate incantation at number nine. And this is an OG on a this is came on, on this is on Earache Records. Um, you know, of course, Vader, very successful death metal band, uh, one I like a lot. And this one is, uh, has a 153 median. However, the lowest price you will see for this anywhere on Discogs for, this is an OG first press is 464. So I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm going by what the Discogs median is, what you can actually find them for, and plug, plug. In many cases, I have these for sale on eBay, and they're they're le they're less. I mean, they're... so I think a lot of what times what happens is people see that there, there's no copies, and then somebody makes up a price, and then when the next dude gets in and sees, oh well, that's the price I have to compete with, and it just keeps raising the price. It's it's uh. Bill Gates world I'm just living in it so moving on we have Beherit the oath of black blood this is 1991 on turbo music which I believe is from like Germany or something uh, oh no yeah Germany and this has a median this is a, one where there's a huge disparity so this one says the median uh, price is 164 However, the lowest copy that you can find on Discogs is $666. This one is far less than that, um, but still, you know, still expensive. So next up at number seven, we have a, a, a little bit of an odd man out. Um, That's an interesting one. This is Led Zeppelin II, and this is the 1982 mobile sound fidelity and these are, are reissues uh, a lot of classic rock bands have had these made for them they're pressed to vinyl off the master tapes almost all of them are extremely expensive uh, i've had like a blondie one or whatever sell for like 200 bucks like immediately um this one will set you back 300 dollars which is more or less right they're, they're not really that rare 
Um, so 300 bucks. I don't really need to hear any songs on Led Zeppelin 2 again really badly, but you know, if you're a fan, that's as good as it gets. So we're getting towards the beginning. This next one, is, you know, I'm going to butcher this because one of the letters in it isn't even a, a letter. Although I, I do know who they are because I listen to them. This is Dahisfengard. That's my best. Whatever. Uh, whenever I mispronounce shit, all the uh, black metal elites uh, jump all over me. So whatever. This, the second letter is a, not. It's a symbol. So I did my best. So this one is Monumental Possession, 1996, Malicious Records, Germany. And this was these guys, really their only pure black metal album. And after this album with like satanic art and uh, some of the other stuff that came out after, they, they kind of went to a more industrial. And they're, they're still around today. And their last album... You should definitely check out. It's a super. Uh, it's not even industrial anymore. It's like a super progressive uh, black metal. Like they throw some jazz in. Like uh, there's a little bit industrial shit, but I mean, awesome band. Super super talented. I wish they had done more kind of uh, black metal, pure black metal like this. But nonetheless, this one is. This one is, I think there's only like 2,000 of these printed. So this one says 177 as median value. However, you cannot find one anywhere on Discogs for less than uh, 564. And actually, this copy I have in my hand is less than that, far less than that. You can buy it from me, but still not cheap. At number five, and this is not... This is actually a reissue from 1998. This is Storm of the Lights Bane from Dissection. Of course, this is their, their first album. Blue Vinyl. And again, the or, originals of this are like thousands. Um, or, or can go that high, you know, depending on condition. This was in great condition. Blue Vinyl, I think there was only 500 of these pressed in 1998. Because in... in, in Around like the late 90s, they were just phasing out. Like vinyl was an afterthought. It was all about the CDs at that time. So that's why stuff from the from the 90s, like really early 90s up to mid 90s until like records started kind of kind of becoming uh, hip again, uh, is super expensive. So this, even though a re reissue uh, is, this is on Nuclear Blast. 410 median value you can't find any for less for than uh 560 and uh you know mine's priced right in that range so next up we have another by beherit drawing down the moon this is their second album this is on spine farm from i believe 1993 um, this is when they had gone more into a kind of atmospheric black metal direction. Vinyl's in really good shape, barely played. Um, again, this is, you know, like I said, it's been reissued again and again, still sells. These guys are another band that, that, that didn't do, they could have done a lot more. Um, so the uh, price on this one is... 425 median however you can't find a copy of this anywhere for less than 570 so it's kind of just like oath of black blood it's this is a high dollar album very sought after spine farm so we're into the top three now the top three there's gonna be some some controversy here so as we roll into this two are more or less the same album and they're tied at two and three they're just two different versions so this is a blaze in the northern sky by dark throne this is a production test pressing peaceful records and this came out in 1992 uk and this one goes 
goes for, it says, Discogs will tell you it goes for 127, uh, you know, median value. Uh, however, there are no copies on Discogs. The lowest one is at 2000 at this time. Th this one is far less. Um, plug, plug. You know, still a pricey album, uh, a classic. So, Blaze in the Northern Sky, Dark Throne, test pressing. So, I guess I kind of gave away the game a little bit. Tied at two and three, this is an actual copy of A Blaze in the Northern Sky by Dark Throne. And this is a. Uh, one of their super, you know, lo-fi, early, uh, just pure black metal noise recorded on a four track. Um, and this one, the, has a 388 median value. So it's more expensive than the test pressing if you're going by median value. However, you can pick one of these up uh, for... Eight hundred and thirty-three dollars on Discogs. This copy is also less than that, but not by much. Um, so, you know, again, Dark Throne, all, all this stuff, all the reissues still sell. This is an OG, uh, very expensive. So now we are getting to number one. I was gonna put this as an honorable mention, but. It, this is just something like so unique. No one else has anything like this. You just have to see it. So at number one, we have Necrophagia, Season of the Dead, Test Pressing. So before you're like, what? That's not so expensive. This only has a uh, median value in Discogs of 77 and that, that's that 77 probably sold you know 15 years ago um at that price there's none on there right now for less than 300 however i put this one number one because this was actually owned by you know as you can see by the writing on it this was owned by killjoy himself and this is from the label this is you know his first copy there's some some like jokes written on it um you know, as far as the vinyl, it's, it's pretty, like, you know, plain. Uh, but just to me, I put this number one because, you know, Killjoy, obviously a, a, um, a behemoth in, in the business and in, in both uh, just as a musician, all the different labels he's been with, you know, stuff he did with Phil from Pantera. I mean, just a, a legendary, prolific guy. And this was the album that really put him and Necrophagia on the map. Um, so I, I, I got, you know, this this is kind of my price. I had this one at just a thousand dollars because of of what it is, who it belonged to, uh, one of a kind thing. You're not going to see anywhere else again. And this is from 1987, New Renaissance Records. Uh, and also another interesting thing about Season of the Dead is it came out uh, within a week or two. Uh, I don't know if it's, remember, if it's before or after of uh, Scream Bloody Gore. And there was some controversy over whether Scream Bloody Gore was the first death metal album or if uh, Season of the Dead was. If you want my opinion, I, neither one of them was. The first death metal album was... Possessed, Seven Churches, even have a song called Death Metal on it. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, that is the top 20 rock, heavy metal, and punk albums I have right now. I'm going to be doing another list like this in a week. I'm going to be doing CDs. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you uh, learned something from it. And I... Uh, all the uh, vinyl collecting elites, make sure to shred me in the comments. Later.